morning guys. It is Monday morning at 8.40 and contrary to every other Monday, we are not going to work. <laughs> um, so How are you so awake? She's still sleeping. I think she was up late last night. So we are headed to the gym and we're not going to Equinox. We are going to a gym here in Astoria called The Rock. Um, the Rock! The Rock um, to meet up with Carl, the same person who brought us the gingerbread Oreos a few days ago. Um, he requested to get in a workout with us before we left, which has uh, made us feel really warm and fuzzy inside. <laughs> you know, made us feel special. Um, so we wanted to accommodate his, his request, and we are headed to work out with him. Well, let's talk about how he's coming from Long Island. So yeah, he's coming. He's accommodating his request. Yeah, he is. He's actually making doing more work than we are. He's coming from Long Island. Um, Bless about his soul. Over an hour away. So you're a trooper man. Um, looking forward to the workout. So yeah, uh, we gotta leave here in a few minutes, but I'm just putting together my shaker, some cellulocor creatine. <clears throat> it was five grams. I'm going for five grams a day, and um, five grams per scoop. So there's one scoop in that, as well as one and a half to two scoops of high volume. Right in there, gotta add some water to this thing, bad boy, and we're gonna be good to go. So we'll catch you guys at the gym. Spotted, vlogging, inside vlogging. See if he notices. Excuse me sir, no cameras allowed. <laughs> <laughs> so we got chest and back today. Should be a good workout, feeling good today. Um, yeah, let's get it.
Well, that's that, guys. Huh? Chest and back workout oh. done. Thank you very much, Carl, for waking up, Wait. ripping well yourself out at a bed at the ass crack of dawn. Come get in the workout <laughs> with us before we leave. I thank you for letting me come through. Just, I'm gonna let you finish, but first, I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> so, chest and back workout done, and uh, not sure what we have planned now, but we are going home. I know what you guys got planned. No, we're getting, uh, oh, gonna boy. grab some coffee. Uh, Carl, oh, <laughs> he knows us too well. Hey. Oh. So last time he brought us gingerbread Oreos. This time you said you had the peanut he brought us peanut butter Oreos. All the time. Thank you very much, Carl. You are the man. Catch you guys later. So as you just saw, we are headed to the 9-11 memorial site, but we're actually going to the observatory. We are going to the top of that. Kind of gives you chills, and it's not because it's cold. It's just crazy to think that a building just like that stood right here once before. But the waterfalls are not on. No. Welcome to One World Observatory. Wow. Read this out. That's New Jersey over there. That sunset is insane. I know, it's amazing. So, I looked up the sunset and it said it was at 4.30, so I figured 4.45 time to get up here would be perfect. And I guess... I chose right. That was just not true. So here we are at the observatory on the southernmost tip of the islands of Manhattan. And using this touch screen map, we can get a closer look at some of the landmarks out the window. Now I'd like to start where I started my New York journey, and that is in this magical place, Washington Square Park. So there are where the old towers stood. Before they fell. It's pretty crazy. Visiting One World Observatory. So it is now 6 p.m. And we're 
going to the Brooklyn Bridge. Right We're walking over the Brooklyn Whoa. Bridge. Entrance is right there. Right? Right there. Entrance, we're going to walk all the way over into Brooklyn, get some pizza, hopefully, and then get home. So, yeah, we're about to walk over, get some footage, honey. Uh, <laughs> Crossing the street. Well, yeah, it is. Yeah, that way. I'm trying to figure out how to get on there. We'll figure it out eventually. We are on the Brooklyn Bridge. So it's not as lit up. Actually, it's not lit up at all huh. as we thought it might, but it's okay because this view is spectacular. That's Manhattan, right there. Times Square, and our job is right about there. There's the Chrysler Building. Right, tip of the Chrysler Building, you can see it, the bright one. There. And then the World Trade Center, where we just were, is right there. Where we just, yeah, where we just were. What are all these runners doing? Seriously. <laughs> there are people running right now, and I know you can't really hard, really see me. But people are running, and that's not okay. Nobody really even likes running anyway. If you do, I don't believe you. So we made it off the bridge. We're about to get some pizza. It's really cold and I can't talk. My hand's gonna freeze off, and so that's that. Oh, you're good. I'm taking a video. I'm taking a video, so you guys can keep as you were. <laughs> well, here we go. What is it? This is their pizza, which comes with fresh mozzarella, basil, and crushed tomato. And I also got sausage. Roasted peppers and mushrooms. Hi. Good morning, guys. It is 12 noon on Tuesday, and the countdown is on. We have 24 hours till we are in New Hampshire. Give or take, probably 22 minutes. We'll see. So we are literally buttoning down. Buttoning down the hatches, batting down the hatches. I never understood. Dominican, I, I shouldn't ask her. Um, so we need to clear out this entire room so we can sweep and do the last minute stuff. We're actually leaving this, we're leaving that. We're leaving the glass table, we're leaving the two IKEA things right there that's holding those boxes, that thing right there, and the other thing that's on top. But leaving the light. So I'll catch you guys in a second. Update. This is the kitchen. So we got everything moved around and mopped, cleaned, basically to the point where we can now move everything, or most things, back in here and clean that floor. We gotta run out and grab, gonna grab some food and the laundry. Drop off the laundry because our laundry bag is full to the like above the brim. There was a brim on a laundry bag. It would be above it. Um, and then get some food and drop off some things. I still need to drop off my Umoro thing. You know, I meant to do that yesterday, but never had a chance. And uh, so take care of just a few things, come back, hopefully finish up. So if you guys haven't caught on yet, we kind of like burgers. Yeah. But yeah, so we're here for lunch. We just dropped off tomorrow and shipped out. Uh, got to exchange something at Gymshark, so sending that back. We're starving. Yeah. Eat. My face off. And this is on her today. I'm a sugar mama for you. For lunch. Just for lunch. Just for lunch. Don't be expecting this on the day. 
My sugar mama, I can expect it. <laughs> <laughs> so Yami and I were just talking about something. This 10,000 calorie challenge, like, we're wondering why people cannot finish it. And granted we haven't done it, but I'm pretty confident that we could, we could do it. I think so. I just put in my food. So if you look at the top of meal one, it's just over 2,000 calories with this one meal. So that is my Coke, that is tenders, that is my burger, and it's not even including the fries or the onion rings. Probably the milkshake I'm gonna have right now. And so I'm kinda going crazy right now just because it is our last day in New York and we're enjoying food and we normally wouldn't do this, but just thinking like not even including the sauce either, you know that's gonna pack a punch. I'm gonna have this. I put it in my, my fitness ball. It's happening. I want it. <laughs> so we um we just think like the challenges that we see, one, or food, cho or food choices. Mm -hmm. um, eating really like dense foods and like not getting the best bang for your buck for this challenge. And so we want to do it. If you guys want to see us do it, comment below because we would love an excuse to eat 10,000. <laughs> so as I was just saying, <laughs> this is my 1,200 calorie burger, and there are the onion rings that just came. Good. <laughs> See this? It's the size of your head. <laughs> Final onion ring. Final piece of food on the plate, on the, on the table. It's going down. Oh, I also got another Coke. <laughs> That's 40 ounces of Coke. It's 120, 120 grams of carbs. I'm just Coke alone. Oh, my Atlanta. Rookies. <laughs> and you're like not even struggling. Slowing down a little bit. I'll have to tell you how I'm feeling in about 15 minutes. <laughs> so I'm just putting the rings and fries. This basket, empty basket here, 710 calories. I'm gonna shoot on the low side and say I had about 0.8 of that, even though I probably had about 0.9 because she had like one onion ring and two fries. And then put in some aioli, just basically mayonnaise, which is. Um, bear burger special sauce? Yep. One side, I probably had two. two equivalent ones. of two ramekins. Two oh boy. And I gotta add in the other. Go. Oh. <laughs> I'll even show the little side of that, so 30 ounces instead of 40. These are 20 ounce masses. Gotta factor in the displacement of the ice, but we will see. Anything I missed? You didn't put ketchup, but whatever. Ketchup's there. I'll put it in the ketchup, just so I can use it. So, the burger, the brisket on top of the burger that I had. I even cut that in half. Just you know, shoot in the low side. Chicken tenders, rings and fries, 0.8 of that. And some good music. Um, sauce, two servings of the sauce, 30 ounces of Coke, and the ketchup. I think that's it. You guys ready for the total? Yes, please. Pull back over. Yep. 3,073 calories. Where's my next burger? <laughs> so here we go. Dessert. <clears throat> this is a snickerdoodle Sammy. <laughs> With caramel sauce. They don't have, they have, they have it in my fitness pal, but they don't have the macros. But it is 510 calories. So, granted, we're not, I'm not tracking the macros for this meal specifically. <laughs> Just to show you guys that I can eat 3,000 in one sitting, 510. Just this. So, so you're up to 3,500 ish. 3,583. Give me another one of these. <laughs> That's a 
I've had 163 grams of fat in this, in here. So, <laughs> trying to be moderately conservative with my calories, I have to do the math for how many carbs I can have. Because if you flexible diet for a while, you can exchange your carbs and fat. Not this extreme, <laughs> if you wanted to. So I had 163. My allotment a day is 80. So 163 minus 80, 83 grams over. So that means multiply that by 9. So 747 divided by 4. So that means I need to decrease my carbs by 186. Kind of stay on point. My allotment per day is 400. So 400 minus 186. <coughs> 213. I can have 213 carbs today. Today. Well, let's ask you a question. How many carbs have you had today? 281. I'm so many carbs over that too. <laughs> oh. and my protein's only at 91. What is life? This is awesome. <laughs> Should be like this all the time. Okay. I'm just proving a point. This is to prove a point. I'm sacrificing my body to prove a point to you guys. <laughs> you might as well just do the 10,000 calorie challenge today. Impromptu? Huh? Impromptu? Right. I only have 6,000 calories to go. Maybe you have to... I have a whole day though, right? Yeah, from when you started. So I started at 3 p.m. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna wake up fatty shit. <laughs>